Hello all, welcome. Now in this video, I will show you how to install the NASM on Windows and how to write and test first assembly program on Windows. So first of all, you just need a code block. So you can just follow the step number one. You can move to this particular URL that is codeblocks.org. So whenever you move to codeblock.org, you can move to the download binaries and here you can move to Windows here you can just move to code block 20.3 ming w 32 bit setup exe and you can click on force hub here you can move to that is uh, option number six and that is windows 32 bit including 32 bit compiler you can just download this and it will be downloaded soon now once the file is downloaded you can just move to so in folder and you can just right click and run as administrator so we just need to install the code block first so you can just click over here on install anyway you can just click on yes here you can just click on next i agree next and you can click on install so your code block is being installed now it is asking, do you want to run code block now? You can just click on no. And then you can click on next. And here you can just click on finish. Now step number one is over. Now we need a NASM that is net wide assembler. And that is 32 bit for Windows. So here you can just move to NASM.us. So you can just copy this particular link and you can paste over here in the Google Chrome. So this is nasm.us and here you can just click on downloads. Here you can just move to the directory that is 2.15.05 and here you can just click on win32 and here you can download that is nasm installer x86.exe. So it will be downloaded. Now once it is downloaded, you can move to the directory in which it is downloaded. So it is available over here. Now once installer is downloaded, now you can install the installer, but make sure it must be extract in this particular path. That is program file x86 code blocks ming w bin. So you just need to go to this particular folder first. So just move to C drive program files code block ming w and bin. Just copy this particular path and we need to extract the NASM in this particular folder. So now you can just move to your downloads and you can just run this installer that is NASM installer and you can right click and run as administrator. Now here you can just click on install anyway and here you can click on yes. Now here you can just click on next, next. Here we need to provide the path and that is C drive program files code block ming w bin and then you can click on next and installed. So now your NASM is also installed successfully. So first three steps is covered. Now it's a time to write the first assembly code. So this is my simple program and that is a hello world from Dr. Parag Shukla and this is the code that I want to save in a D drive that is a demo one dot ASM. So let me open notepad. So I'm just opening the notepad file here in notepad. I just want to paste this particular code that is assembly level program. And I just want to print a message that is a hello world from Dr. Parath Shukla. You can just save this file in D drive. So I'm just saving this in a D drive. And the name of this file that is demo1.asm and here you can just select that is all files and you can click on save. So this assembly file is created. Now I want to run this particular assembly code. So how we can run this? It is very simple. You just need to move to your bin directory from command prompt. So just open that is in a run you can just write cmd and your command prompt will be open now here you can just change the directory that is a cd c colon that is program files x86 code block ming w bin 
So once you move to this particular directory, now you can generate the obj file. So it is now step number six, that is generate the object file. So here you can just write that is nazam app win32 and here you need to provide the path in which your assembly file is located. So it is available in my D drive. So I'm just writing D drive demo1.asm. Now I want to generate the object file. So I'm just providing the option that is des o. So it will generate the output file in a D drive. I want to generate the same and that is demo1.obj. So now once you've done this, you can say that the step number six is over. It means that the object file is created. Now I want to generate the exe based on the object file. So it is very simple. You can just use the command gcc and from your object file, you can create the exe file. So now my object file is available in the D drive demo1.obj and here you can provide des o and that is a D drive demo1.exe. It means I want to create the exe from object file. You can just press enter so your exe will be created. Once your exe is created, now you can call your exe. So I'm just calling here D drive that is demo1.exe. And now whenever you press enter, you will get the message over here. And the message will be what? That is a hello world from Dr. Parag Shukla. It means what? It means that. I installed the NASM on Windows and I written the first assembly program and I tested successfully on the Windows. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.